Hi everyone, uh, my name is Hannah Foxwell and I'm here to talk about the next transformation. And before I start, I'll forgive you if there's an audible groan in the room when I say that I'm talking about AI transformation. But before I get into that, I want to go back to DevOps in 2012 because this is what I heard. This is what I heard from my CIO. Don't talk to me about DevOps. And when I talk to people about AI, I'm getting a bit of that at the moment as well. Don't talk to me about AI. And I get it. Everyone's talking about AI. Since ChatGBT came on the scene and generative AI became a household name, every company seems to have rebranded themselves as, a, as an AI company. We said every company needs to become a software company, but actually every company is now going, you know what, like software is not really good. I want to be an AI company. Everyone's talking about AI, and they're not saying very much. There's all this new jargon and this new terminology, and people are using their words, and they don't really understand what they're saying. Just like those early days of DevOps, there are some folks who are shouting very loudly about their successes, and it's giving everyone else FOMO. And I, it's absolutely understandable to want to shout about those successes, but I just want to share a bit of a reality check with everyone in here is that those are the exception. Most of us aren't having those huge successes yet. And there's a lot of people who are saying, actually, it might not work here. When I start talking to folks about AI, I ask them the questions like, where are you on this spectrum? Are you like an AI optimist? Are you like, oh, that's the future. I want a bit of that. Give me an LLM. Or are you a bit of a pessimist? Are you like, oh, God, I don't really want to talk about it yet. It's too new. It's not ready for production. And it feels very much like those early days of DevOps where it felt like a little bit of a cult, where it felt like you hadn't really done it, but you believed it was possible. Practices like continuous deployment and continuous delivery, which felt out of reach to most organizations. And as a community, I think we've learned a little bit over the past 15 years of DevOps about navigating fundamental changes in technology, about navigating transformation. In 2016, everyone got a little bit impatient. Everybody wanted DevOps culture and they wanted it now. And they said stupid things to each other, like if you can't change your people, change your people. <laughs> Don't say that, but we're at the same point with AI today. And this slide could literally be about any technology transformation that we've been through. It could be about AI, it could be about DevOps, it could be about cloud, but with the introduction of these new technologies, we need to learn new skills, new practices, new roles might emerge, and new teams might emerge off the back of that. But what we've found as a DevOps community, and with the conversation that we're now having about developer experience, is we have to think about our users. We don't want to get distracted by the shiny new tools and technologies, and sight of why we're here and what is our purpose. The other thing that we've learned as a community is that change is hard and that it takes time. You cannot buy transformation, but there sure as hell are a lot of people who are ready to sell it to you. Choose your partners wisely. Transformation does not happen overnight and it will not look the same for you as it does for other organizations. So I know the FOMO is a lot, but you do you. You do the things that are right for you and your team. Here's where I recommend you start, and here's where the teams that navigated DevOps transformation succeeded. They created space to incubate and experiment in a safe environment where it was okay to fail. Some things are the same. Some things feel oddly familiar between where DevOps was a decade ago and AI today, but some things, some things are definitely different. There is immediate top-down support. Your board and your CEO are going, I want AI, and I want it now. And they have money to spend on it. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that awesome? Also, the cost and the learning curve of ado adapting and adopting some of these technologies is actually very accessible to most teams. We're not talking about millions and millions in investment to have a go and start to experiment. But I want to give you some reassurance. Um, AI may change your job but it won't take your job. The things that make us human are still the things that make the difference. We need empathy for our users to make sure that we're building the right things and that we're using technology to solve the right problems. We need collaboration, we need communication, and it is our individuality, creativity, diversity, and originality that will be the differentiators. They are today and they will remain important. 
But when I look back over a decade of being part of the DevOps community, the thing that has made the difference to me is the people, it's the community. I don't think anybody has an answer about what the future of software development looks like with generative AI, but we sure as hell have a lot to figure out together. When I talk about AI, when people ask me the question, am I an optimist or am I a pessimist? I'm neither, I think I'm a realist. I don't think we get to opt out of this transformation. And so what I would really love to do is to actually just get curious and figure out what other people are doing with it and so that we can learn from each other and help each other as we navigate this change. Thank you very much. Um, let's, do, let's, do, let's continue the conversation in open space. I'd love to do that. <laughs> I overran.